diligent enterprise. I have come to convey the best wishes of friendship to all in this annual meeting 2019. Being held here and in, in two cities, other cities, Crimea and St. Petersburg. Through cooperation of the global network, my participations through global network has strengthened our friendly relations, echoing through great teachings of Lord Buddha, who was born in my country, Nepal. Let me share with you a few words about the enduring bonds of cooperation and support between both Nepal and Russia. The Global Network Annual Meeting 2019, being held in all three cities, Moscow, Crimea, and St. Petersburg, has provided me the opportunity to highlight Nepal and Russia relations a Nepalese perspective. Nepal-Russia relations have remained cordial, cooperative, friendly, and problem-free ever since the establishment of diplomatic relations more than six decades ago. Nepal, in fact, takes pride in maintaining cordial and friendly relations with Russia, which has remained a major influential power in international relations, addressing a program organized by different Russia friendship associations in Nepal, such as Russia Center for Science and Technology <coughs> uh, Culture, Russia, Nepal Russia Friendships and Culture Association, Nepal Russia Chamber of Commerce and Industry, and Mitra Kunja. Russian co compatriots program organized to mark the anniversary of establishment of diplomatic relation between Russia and Nepal. Chief guest, the then Deputy Prime Minister and Foreign Minister, and presently as Speaker of Nepalese Parliament, Honorable Krishna Bahadur Mahara, said that, quote, Nepal-Russia relations always remain cordial and Russia is Nepal's trusted friend. He further continued, Nepal always attaches great importance to relation with Russia. It has been playing a very important role to maintain world peace and humanity. As a permanent mem member of UN Security Council, Russia no doubt plays a decisive role in maintaining international peace and security. As we all know, Russia is one of the few nuclear powers of the world, while its nuclear arsenal is huge and vast. It is not opposed to nuclear disarmament on Earth and even in space. Russia has assisted Nepal in human resources development, HRD, by providing opportunities, including a scholarship to Nepalese students to study various sources, including technical subjects like medicine and engineering in reputed Russian universities and other advanced technical institutes. Nepal is proud to have more than 5,000 graduates students of Russian universities. These graduates students have occupied important positions in government as well as in private sectors. Needless uh, to point out, Russia has made tremendous progress in the field of science and technology, including exploration of outer space, it is our belief that Russia is opposed to militarization and nuclearization. 
of other space and russia has shown its readiness to reduce if not completely eliminate its nuclear stock piles speaking on speaking on the 10th meeting of the fourth committee of sixth 65th un <coughs> General Assembly, the representative of Russia Federation, said that, quote, the world faced with the risk of turning outer space into an arena for the arms race, which would negatively impact the overall spirit of cooperation and trust amongst countries. It is a matter of satisfaction that Russia welcomes any initiative that would ensure sustainable peace so that people in both developed and developing countries could work to create a stable, prosperous, and peaceful society. For development to take place at an, at an accelerated space, a country like Nepal needs trained and educated manpower and Russian corporations in human resource development of the country is highlighted, is highly appreciated. Finally, we are confident that the present meeting being held in Moscow, Crimea and St. Petersburg will strengthen global efforts to create a new global order based on peace, justice, equity and harmony to honor the aspiration of human against all kinds of arms and armament. The whole world knows that nations are spending millions of money in amassing arms and nuclear weapons on earth and even in space. Such a situation is bound to lead humanity to the brink of a catastrophic war, oppose all mongering activities that would ultimately invite the very extinction of humanity. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.